Hi, this is Steve Lynn again. I'm a real estate broker and I have 25, actually over 25 years experience in real estate and mortgage finance. And today I wanted to talk to you about another subject that people often ask or question people often ask. And that is, when is the best time to list your home? Well, that depends on a lot of different factors. And some of those factors include basically, uh, are your children in school? Um, are, are you going to make a job change or not? Uh, are you considering retirement? You want to move away and you know maybe that's the best time for you. Um, is there changes in the economy or in your local economy and also the national economy that are affecting your cash flow and, and uh, your, your ability to, uh, to have income perhaps and things like that? Or, or perhaps you've made enough equity in your home where you just want to get out and move along and buy something else and move up. So there's all those factors. Um, also, one thing that's happening right now in the economy is, uh, is there a change in the actual value of the dollar? And uh, there are many that believe that the, because of the uh, printing of uh, trillions of uh, billions and billions of dollars uh, in QE1, QE2, and soon to be QE3, which is quantitative easing, uh, basically we're going to be in a situation where that value of that dollar today is going to be worth less in the future and therefore what you get for your house today versus what you get for your house tomorrow and your net gain on that particular home, the equity you have left over after you sell the house, the value of that dollar will be less so is it smarter for you to sell the property now or hold off until later? So there's all these types of different factors that will enable you to make a quality decision. Now let me go back uh, a step backward here Traditionally, the best times to sell a house are uh, usually when the kids are getting ready to go and uh, you know get out of school, which is usually in June or some, somewhere around there, and you want to move to another area and maybe buy another house. Or perhaps you're in a situation where you want to buy your first house and you want to get into a situation where you're in a location where it's close to the place where you want to raise your kids and, and put them in school and that kind of thing. So that may be one factor. Another factor is, is uh, right after, typically right after March, all the people uh, in the public get start getting cash uh, from their um, from their tax returns, and then they want to go out and start buying houses. Um, so, uh, what happens is is uh, you get around June through uh, through uh, August, September, October, and you're in a situation where you have a glut or a huge amount of properties on the marketplace, and uh, it causes a situation where you may not have enough buyers, and you may have too many properties. So, obviously, it would be smarter for you to sell the property and put it in. Uh, put it on the market earlier, like around you know March, April, and have it ready, and then price it right, so that when the competition hits, you don't have to lower that price quicker. You actually get a higher price. So often, and then I'll give you another example. Um, sometimes it's best, or it's great time to sell your house during Christmas, because uh, from Christmas or, or the holidays all the way to around uh, February uh, or January because there's less market of properties on the marketplace and there's still people looking for properties and making that migration people that are want to take advantage of tax situations at the end of the year so they want to get into a house and get it closed out for tax purposes things like that or there may be people who are currently getting a situation where they're divorcing <coughs> and they, <coughs> excuse me and they want to divorce uh, because they want to divorce they want to get rid of their what they would call their problem and sell the property and move on with their lives and they want to either do it before the holidays or they want to do it after the holidays very quickly so that's often a great time to sell the, uh, the property as well so all these different factors um, if you want to you know ask me questions you can certainly call me and I'll answer any questions you may have you can always reach me just by my website and uh, we'll go from there and uh, keep watching my videos they're very informative and I think you'll enjoy them and if you, you're in the local area of Southern California Feel free to give me a call and email me and I will uh, you know, answer any questions and I'll be real straightforward with you So, based on your specific situation. Enjoy the day and we'll look forward to, uh, to talking to you soon. Take care.